Okay, so that was a preview of the third track in the album titled My Existence. In the journey and the progression of this album, this album for me is really a representation of late teenage years and into my early 20s as I went through high school and college and really started doing a lot of contemplation of my existence and where my place was in the world. And this brought about a lot of really dark thoughts, but also a lot of really meaningful thoughts. So this track has a really dark and gritty aspect to it and also a really sort of hopeful and beautiful vocal. So this track, uh, along with many others in the album, is really simple insofar as the number of tracks going on. This has only got three tracks. It's really simple, but each one is doing a lot. So let's start with the gritty part, um, which is sort of meant to be this representation of growing up and the dark side of growing up. So this is... Um, let me mute everything else. So the synth that I'm using here is going to be Oi Grandad, which is a free granular synthesizer. I'm going to leave a link to, you know, who Venus theory down below. He has a video where he goes through a little bit of how this actually works. I'm not going to take the time to do that. It would go, it would take too long and I don't understand it well enough to try and explain it. So I'm not going to pretend like I do. So this is allowing me to take a lot of different loops and do some granular synthesizing. And like I said, I'm not going to explain what granular synthesis is, but it's really, really cool and awesome for ambient music, and you should definitely learn it if you are not familiar. But unfortunately, I do need to say I've moved some files around on my computer in the past month or so, and so some of the files that, some of the foleys that I use to create this sound um, have moved, so I've had to get a few new ones from Splice. Hopefully things will sound similar enough for the purpose of the tutorial. If you want to go listen to the original track, I will leave a link down in the description. But anyways, so dry, I've got these, I've got three unique different Foley loops here, two of the same, and then a third and a fourth here. And there is a lot going on in this plugin. I'm not going to try and describe it all. But anyways, we start down here on a stupid low note, just like absolutely stupid shouldn't exist. But let's just dry, take a listen to what this sounds like. If we add in another note, a little bit higher. Sounds really gross and grimy, right? And then even towards the end here, we add in another note. And so this is meant to just be grimy and gross. So there's not much going on, tonally speaking, like at all. But still, I just figured why not try and make it as gross as I possibly can. So we've got a G sharp, an A, and an A sharp. If you put those next to each other, right? It's just three straight semitones. So it's disgusting what's going on. Um, Everything is just pure, um, pure dissonance. So let's go here when we've got three notes playing. Sort of sounds like footsteps. Um, and so I thought that that was really cool and really uh, gross sounding. So the first thing I naturally added was OTT, um, just a little bit on 20%. If I go to this middle section and play it, you can hear what the OTT is doing does quite a bit for it. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to skip this because it's the most important part. But I've got repeater, which is a delay, which is giving it a little bit of delay. Adding to the sort of confusion of the sound. Then from waves, we've got this meta, meta flanger. Um, which throughout the piece gives a little bit of this sort of sireny sound. It almost sounds like there's a, a police siren or something in the background. You can hear if I turn this off. But it gives it this sort of scary siren, siren esque sound. And then we've got super massive for the big washed out reverb. And then just a little bit of EQ. So now if we go over to this big section over here, if you let it build for a little bit, it's a pretty interesting sound, but I 
I was, let's stop getting sound. Um, I was not satisfied with it. It was not gross enough. So the next thing I added was this plugin called DST, which I believe I have shown before in tutorials, but this is a multi-band distortion plugin. This is on its most gross setting. Um, things are distorted out of this world. Um, and what I've got going on, if we look at the automation here, is the gain of this layer, which has DST on it, is raising, is going up as the track goes on. It's slowly building as the track gets more and more gross, more and more intense. And in order to compensate for how much volume this is adding, I am decreasing the gain of the dry sound. So this is effectively using a send, but I'm not using a send, I'm just using an Ableton audio effect rack, but you can think of that's what's going on, is that we're blending a wet signal of the distortion with the dry signal of the dry signal, just the plain dry signal. So if I now turn on everything, we can hear already a little bit. If I go back to the beginning here, Things are a little bit quiet. We'll give it a second here to calm down. So the thing with ambient music is pausing and playing is really difficult. But you can hear in the beginning where this starts. And then as we, as I play it over in this section as the uh, distortion is raising, you can hear how gross this gets. So that is the granular synthesis part of the track that makes up the backbone of the really gross, gritty part of the of the piece. And as that slowly builds, you've got to remember that this is building over the course of nine or so minutes. It builds really slowly and creates this awesome tension, which for me, when I'm listening to it, really feels like it resonates with me in a way of describing some of the negative emotions that unfortunately come with just growing up and an increase in anxiety for some and... Um, for me, definitely increases with uh, running into struggles with mental health and trying to get my thoughts to calm down. And that this sound as it grows kind of sounds like what it feels like in my head. And that's what I was going for. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So it doesn't sound quite the same. I think some of the samples I used had it sounding a little bit grittier, if I'm being honest. But you get the basic idea there. Um, if we move on to the next piece, this is a vocal. Um, which again, I've taken from Arcade. I use vocals from Arcades a lot. Vocals from Arcade a lot. I wanted this to sound sort of like a chant, a very, very repetitive piece that just is sort of representing the beauty in all of this that just repeats. And as is the case with growing up, um, you learn that so many of these life lessons, these sort of simple, beautiful life lessons, these moments where life is beautiful and meaningful um, are very repetitive in nature. And it might feel like they're never going to come again, but I wanted this piece to just be have this repetitive uh, sort of angelic vocal um, that just repeats over and over and over again to represent the fact that no matter how gross and bad things get, there is always this sort of light at the end of the tunnel. So if I turn this sound on, we can listen to what the vocal sounds like. So definitely a beautiful sound. So of course, naturally the thing to do is to make sure that it's got plenty of reverb. So it's drenched in Supermassive. I wanted this to really be washed out and Supermassive is great for that. I didn't want to just use something like Black Hole. I wanted this piece to um, be very sort of confusing in, in a good way and to have as much as many things washed out as possible. So, and there's only three tracks, so it's okay to just wash everything the heck out. 
So throw on the reverb and, you know, EQ, and you get this sound. And that effectively repeats until we get to this section where the vocal changes a little bit. It sort of grows with the piece. And this is a really beautiful moment in the track. And that just repeats. That's all there is to it. It just repeats over and over and over again. Um, that's all there, there really is to the vocal in this piece. And then just to fill things out a little bit more, I've got a patch from Abyss, which dry on its own sounds like this. If I play it in the later section when it's sort of bigger, you can see I've got it playing when the Oi Grandad only has the one bottom note. So when things are a little bit needing some something to fill it out, um, we've got the Abyss, which is just helping to fill things out a little bit, giving a slight bit of tonality to play with the vocal. And then I've got OTT, a fair amount of it, delay. Super massive, gain automation, and basic EQ. And now I'll let all three of those things play. Um, this is an incredibly simple track. It's not meant to be complex or anything scary. It's about just the sound design, picking the right sounds, making things gross and beautiful and having the nice contrast and just letting it build on its own. So now I'm going to turn everything on. Okay, I'm gonna pause it there. If you wanna to listen to the whole track, there will of course be a link down in the description. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments um, or just anything else you'd like to hear from me. I will catch you all next time. Take care.